Um, I received a call from our Pastor Justin last week and asked me to come and say a few words about um, well, the journey that I've been going on in my life. Um, it all started back in uh, July last year. Um, life was good. Uh, just had our second parent child born in June. I was down in Washington, D.C. Um, on business and some pleasure seeing all the sights of Washington. I had been to Washington in about 20 years, so it changed quite a bit. Um, and uh, I was coming back on a flight from uh, Reagan International to uh, JFK, and I, I got ill on the flight. And it's only about an hour, hour's flight, but I was very, very sick. So I made it home, we came home to the house, and for three days I was feeling really under the weather. And, um, so, with probably in my wife, I finally went to the doctor, and they, they did some, some tests, many tests that they did, and um, one of the tests was a prostate-specific antigen test, which measures in the PSA levels. Uh, normally, a PSA level should be between, should be between zero and four. Uh, mine was uh, 20, so uh, my urologist said that we need to do a biopsy. And, uh, I remember the date, October 2nd, he called me out with the results and uh, said that uh, my uh, prostate cancer was aggressive and I needed to do something immediately. So, much prayer, talked to my family. Um, I decided that um, I was going to have the procedure done, but there are a lot of choices uh, that you have uh, with the prostate. Um, one is traditional surgery. Uh, another is radiation from the inside, the outside of both. The other is uh, robotic surgery and, and laparoscopic surgery and hormone treatments. So, big decision on my part and my family's part. I decided that I would uh, have it laparoscopically re removed. So, uh, I went to Sloan Cameron Cancer Center in Manhattan and uh, on the day before Thanksgiving, um, it was removed. The good news, bad news, the surgery went very, very well. The bad news is that it metastasized the on the prostate. So um, I was referred to an oncologist at, at Sloan, and currently I'm being treated with uh, medication and uh, injections. Uh, and I look back at <clears throat> what led me through all of this turmoil in my life, and I wondered where I was able to get my strength from. And um, I get it from God and the Holy Spirit. Uh, and, and I also get it through regular attendance and ascension. And uh, the, one of the primary places to get it from is the men's Bible So I've been going for that for many, many years, slotted with Pastor Bragglin. And they sound like a plug. But we meet on the first and third of Saturday. Every month, we're in the library lunch. We usually get about 15 to 20 people out of 10, uh, and I'm proud to say that they are, they are my brothers. Um, the second where I get my strength from is uh, the adult retreat, which is held uh, the first weekend in March. It's at our camp in early. We start with a dinner across the street at Dos Avaros. It's about an hour and a half drive. And when we get there, we um, have a Bible study, lots of sharing, um, fellowship, and a time away from the stresses in our lives. We just sit there and we'll do whatever you want to do. Uh, great place um, to go. And the third third place is from the young service. It took me a while to make the dates correct, but much part of Bob Schneider, a constant reminder. Uh, it's the first Sunday of the month over uh, in the chapel at 12 o'clock and on the third Tuesday, which is the one I usually forgot about, was it's the third Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. also in the chapel. Um, and it's led by Paul and Bob Snyder and Susan, Susan Bliss. They do a terrific job. Um, I'm trying to work to them and get a lot of peace uh, from them. Uh, that's that's the word that I have today. It's not a full-blown sermon. This is sermon, and uh, thanks for listening.